Welcome back to another advanced game maker studio tutorial and just imagine this. You just completed your level and now you want to reward the player with some coins flying to you. So it's saying like yeah you did something right buddy and here is your reward which are just flying coins into well your face kind of almost. So if you want to know how to do that so basically the spawning and the flying towards the screen, stay tuned. This is one up indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video, or at least I try and share my stuff if you can so the channel can actually grow because it's still small. So let's get right into the good stuff so what you're seeing here is quite easy basically just two objects one is the coin which is flying up and then the chest so let's go into our chest and kill that and for now we just do the spawning and this is called object i just call it object drop curse chest and here we have an alarm so we set off the alarm let's say the first one on 10 steps and then we say and reset the alarm every time we do it and I just copy paste and stuff so it becomes a little bit shorter because the last video was like 15 minutes way too long for such an easy tutorial so I just copy paste a lot of things and now we want to do something and I copy paste it again no uh -huh. that is kind of interesting does not want to why don't you want now you want okay so the next thing i want to do and this is just basically spawning an instance so i say instance create layer then minus y because i want to put it not because the origin is like at, at the bottom but i want it to be something somewhere here so that's why i put it a little bit above the minus value where i spawn my coin and then i store it into our uh, coin variable so here I can control it and therefore we need to do something. First of all, we need to make something with the coin because for now it wouldn't be moving, but we want it to move. So we say, hey, coin and speed, set it to a value, 3.5. So it moves somewhere. And because we need to know where to move, we need to have our coin direction to go in a specific way. And therefore we say coin dot direction put you downwards and then we need to put it into a very specific direction because for now we don't want it to go let's say randomly in all direction that wouldn't look too good we just want it to go in an upward cone so here let's say this would be the zero angle this is 180 to this side and therefore we just go let's say 45 degrees upwards and then all the degrees until we hit um, well one half 180 minus 45 so 100 35 and therefore we just do something like this we set it to a random value come on as you can see between 45 a degree of 45 and 135 and then it works pretty solidly and maybe we want to have some let's say um, more than one coin then of course we can do a little trick here we just say hey amount and then i want to spawn one coin between one and three coins and then we say something like this this is the repeat command so we just put the repeat command depending how many things we want to do so basically just to recap the code we um, take off our first alarm then we reset it then we say hey how many of those coins we want to spawn on the new alarm and then we say hey between one and three so i random range and then we spawn the coin with a specific speed of course here you can vary if you want to but now i leave it so you can make some even more customization if you like then a specific direction in the cone then repeat that between one and three times reset bam and maybe you want to have even though uh, more control then you say i don't know let's say time and let's say I random range between what kind of values? I don't know. Let's say 
between 10 and 25 25 and then say hey our reset of our alarm is between those kind of values and then you have some more randomness and then we are pretty much finished so let's say for example we start then you would see something like this and i didn't factor in the gravity which is already put in into our coin which we're going to reset for now so what you're seeing here basically you are spawning those coins from this point which is a little bit high so let's go i don't know for 30 so that was a little bit much and let's go into our coin kill everything in there because we want to change uh, well a few things and here let's start it now and then what you will see because we just set up our cone upwards and our speed then those coins will be just going upwards which well it's not too optimal in my opinion and therefore we need to adjust a few things on our coin so this is just a coin it animates nicely this is my coin so i can use it and abuse it the way i like and let's go in here and change a few parameters first of all i need to have some specific depth because what you saw it was spawned behind the uh, chest which i didn't like and then we need to do some alarm or i do it with an alarm of let's say three seconds what is the alarm good for once it ticks off you destroy it so the instance won't be around all the time so we can spawn indefinitely more coins because the other ones are getting destroyed during the process and then we need something like our gravity i put it into very small values why is that so small because my room is quite small this is like 480 by 270 so top uh, bottom left corner you see the size of my room it's quite small and therefore my values are small but here of course play around and the next thing is i want my gravity and therefore i put uh, well a gravity value how much i want and then the direction you need to have both in unison as this kind of doesn't work as far as i know or the direction would be zero and then it would be flying to the right which i'm not sure you want that but of course you can do it and then uh, last thing which i called size so i say hey i want it to be uh increased so let's say for example we start it now this already looks good the thing is getting destroyed um it's spawning uh, in front of the chest and it's flying down as you can see already works but maybe you want to have the effect that it kind of pops into your screen so it becomes bigger and this is quite easy you just set up a variable which i call size and then i give it a random value between let's say uh, 0 0.0.1 uh, or 0 0.03 i don't know change the values whatever you like to the, do with it and then we change our image x and y scale so how would, can we do that we just take it the image index and just plus equal it to our size and what it's just going to do it starts like with one plus our one of those values here and then it becomes bigger and bigger and let's start it again and we are done here so if it starts if it starts if it starts okay it does start as you can see it is pretty sweet of course if you want to have your coins go behind the player or let's say kind of kind of behind because this is actually artificially looking just that it's popping up then you put the size with a minus value as well so here you would just say hey maybe go between minus values actually we can do that and let's see how that looks like because some of the coins will become well during its flight smaller yep so this one is getting smaller so if you wanted to do that this is of course possible too i just wanted to put that they just kind of jump into towards the player which i find as a cool effect so that was pretty much it hope you enjoyed that have a good one one up indie